Hi, welcome to my channel, Senior Sue Cacti and Succulents. Today I am going to show you how to propagate a Crassula mucosa, which is also known as the watch chain plant. Now I already took the cuttings off of these, um, but I will show you how it's done on this one. I have a whole plate full of cuttings that I'm going to be potting into this pot. Okay, so what I simply did with clean clippers, just cut a top, the top of the plant off. And I will insert a picture uh, of what this plant looked like before I started cutting on it. It can get really long, woody stems. You can see them just a little bit down in here. And it was really lanky and uh, really messy looking. So I thought I would go ahead and propagate some pieces in a different pot. Now this is a plant that can grow up to 12 inches tall and the watering needs are the same as other succulents. You only water it when the pot, when the soil is completely dry. So here I have a little screen to cover up the hole in the bottom of the pot. So I'm going to put that down in there. And the soil that I'm using is a cactus and palm and citrus soil mix. And I have found that it has always worked well for me uh, with my succulents. So I have not had any problem. And by the way, I am in zone 10A, which is in Southern California. And I keep my succulents outside all year long. And I also have several planted in the ground. Okay, so this looks pretty good. It's as full as I want it. So all you need to do is take your cuttings and stick them into the soil. So what I'm going to do here, I have this little chopstick. I'm going to kind of dig a hole in there or poke a hole into the soil and just put that right into the pot down in there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, and then I'm going to stick a few more in here. I'm going to try to fill up the pot as much as possible with these cuttings, and I think I will be able to do that. Okay, let me first show you. If you can see on this plant how fine the little leaves are, and they're tight together, and it does look like a uh, watch chain, which is kind of cool. So there's a close-up look. Okay, so I'll put these in here. Now this plant here, I had it planted in really tiny teacups outside and it was just huge and I wanted to use those teacups for something else. So then I transplanted it into this pot and I still did not like the way it looked because it was just so lanky and untidy that I decided to go ahead and propagate more pieces. And these will also look good in an arrangement with, uh, you know, other plants. So that's an idea if you want to do something like that. And these will hang over uh, the edge eventually. And once this starts to look messy again, I'll simply go ahead and cut the pieces and uh, propagate again to get it all cleaned up and tidy looking. Oh, my hole's not quite deep enough there. So you can see how easy it is. And uh, these cuttings are fresh. So I will not water this arrangement for at least a week. Okay, I'll put a few more on this spot. Okay, that looks good. Put some over here. Oh, and here is a piece of how woody it can get. You know, so this was at the base of this pot, and I had some other longer branches that were really ratty looking like that, and it made it look like it was half dead, even though it is not. So you can see how woody the plant can get. Okay, let me back to this. I get these in the ground, or in the soil. And I will not be putting this in direct sunlight. It will go on my patio where it will get, uh, you know, bright 
light. I find that for, for me in my area in zone 10, they can tend to get, you know, not do well if they're in direct sunlight in hot sun because we can get some pretty hot summers here. Okay, that piece is looking good. Well, a little bit more. There. Okay, let's get some more in here. Yeah, and it'll look a whole lot cleaner and healthier once I'm done here. And the other plot pot too that will start looking better as more new growth comes in okay a few more nice and green i think the color is really pretty and it looks good i think with the red pot gives it a little bit of a christmas vibe Almost done here. Yeah, I really do like succulents because there's just so many things that you can do with them and arrangements. And, and as long as you do not overwater them, they're pretty tough to kill, I think. And give them enough sunlight. I have not done well with growing succulents indoors. I have a few in, in here in a bright window which faces uh, southwest. And the few that I do have in here have been doing okay. Okay. Uh, let me just stick this guy in here somewhere. It's a little bit woody, but maybe right there. Okay, so here is the finished product. I think it's kind of cute. And it does look much healthier than what it was looking like. And like I said, uh, you should have seen the picture that I inserted, uh, you know, at the, towards the beginning of the video. But you can see that this is pretty easy to do. And like I said, I won't water it for at least a week. And um, we should be on our way to uh, growing a new watch chain. Okay, thank you so much for watching my video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.